Hello everyone and welcome to Blog Runner Everything and welcome back to the channel and a match review as we look at how FC Barcelona cruise past Granada at Nuevo Los Carmenes to record their third consecutive victory of 2021 and their third consecutive away win in La Liga. Yeah, all of a sudden we can win away from home. In what was for a change, a respectable evening kickoff fixture for La Blaugrana, they emerged four new victors in what was their most clinical performance under Ronald Koeman to date. The win now sees Barca maintain their position in third place, four points off Atletico Madrid, who have three games in hand because their game tonight against Athletic was postponed, but it also sees Barcelona eat up the gap to Real Madrid who, as of the time of recording this video, have just drawn with Osasuna. So in this video, I'll quickly look at how the teams lined up, then we'll talk about Barcelona's performance of the night and we'll discuss negatives and positives from the game as well as pick the man of the match. Quick reminder to hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video so you can stay up to date with all the coverage of all things Barcelona on this channel. Let's go ahead and look at how the two teams set up. Granada set up with a 4-2-3-1 formation with the following players. Roy Silva in goals, Carlos Neva, German Sanchez, Duarte and Fouquier in defense, Herrera and Yannick Eteki in a double pivot with Puertas, Montoro and Marquis ahead of them and of course Tottenham legend Roberto Soldado leading the line. Barca on the other hand set up in a 4-3-3 with Mark andre Ter Stegen in goals, Samuel Umtiti and Oscar Minguesa coming in for Longley and Araujo at centre back with Dest and Alba either side of them, Busquets, De Jong and Pedri in a 3-man midfield with Dembele, Messi and Antoine Griezmann. So by and large it was a largely unchanged starting 11 for Barca from their Bilbao win with just Linguesa and Titi coming in. Now, let's briefly look at how Barcelona performed in this game. The match started off with Granada dominating much of the early action in the opening 10 minutes, but after some wonderful pressing, Barca managed to force a turnover high up the pitch and after, and as Busquets tried to find Messi with a 1-2, his pass was deflected by a Granada defender into the path of an alert on Juan Griezmann who was able to control the ball, swivel and shoot to open the scoring. The rest of the first half then kind of progressed in much of a similar pattern to the opening 10 minutes. Barca let Granada have the ball then pressed them once they had played their way high up the pitch and picked them apart on the counter attack. The second goal, Lionel Messi's first, came in this way. Barca broke down the left, Griezmann showing that all rare skill of La Pausa that is so highly coveted in Catalonia, you know, just holding on to the ball and waiting until just the right moment to release the pass to Messi, who then jinked past his marker and used him to shield his shot and just like that, Barcelona with 2 0 up. Credit must be given to Busquets who pressed the ball off Granada and found Griezmann to start their counter attack. The third goal came just before halftime, Messi finally scoring his first free kick in almost a year and his first since Valverde was sacked. The foul for the free kick also came as Barcelona were on the counter attack with a Granada player fouling Pedri on the edge of the area as he looked to see the pass from the electric Dembele. Messi then placed his shot under the wall and into the bottom corner to give the goalkeeper no chance and just like that, it was 3-0 to Barcelona. Going into halftime, Barca scoring all three goals from only three shots on target. Thanks to that clinical finishing that was on display in the first half, Barcelona could afford to take their foot off the gas for the second half. The opening moments of it were spent probing and searching for an opening or laps in concentration from Granada as Barcelona largely dominated the ball in the second half and they finally got that lapse of concentration they were looking for in the 63rd minute when Busquets played the ball wide to Dembele and there didn't seem to be much on to be honest but once again La Pozano Dutu was used this time by Dembele 
who waited for Griezmann to get into position before playing a Ronaldinho-esque chip pass into his fellow Frenchman who took it down beautifully and volleyed past Rui Silva on his weaker right foot. 4-0 from only 4 shots on target. Coman then rang the changes as he sought to rest Messi, Dembele, De Jong, Dest and Pedri in no particular order. And I have to say, watching Messi on the bench felt as weird as heck. But with 4 goals in 2 games now, guess who is leading the Pachichi race out of what feels like nowhere. Anyway, the rest of the game went by with not too many major incidents aside from the sending off of Vallejo after he fouled, Martin Brethwaite was the last man, and just like that, full time score was 4 0 to FC Barcelona. Alright, I'll now get into my negatives and positives section. There's not really anything from this performance for me to pick out under negatives. Unless I'm being really nitpicky and I was like, whoa, you know, the subs didn't really have an impact attacking and all that. But nah, there's not much here. Barca dominated and scored great goals like we'd expected from them. So I will talk positives, which are, first and foremost, clinical finishing. Barca had four shots on target and it scored four goals. I don't know the last time we managed to do something like that. For once, the opposition goalkeeper wasn't looking like a young old black and the shots were, well, they were well taken by two of our best finishers. Yes, Brathwaite had two chances to join Messi and Griezmann in the Brace Brigade, but sadly that did not happen, but hopefully we can keep this up in as far as just being clinical without finishing. Secondly, a much needed clean sheet from Mark andre Ter Stegen. If there has been one player who has deserved more than he has gotten so far this season, it's our goalkeeper and it was great to see him keep a clean sheet for a change with our makeshift center back Terry especially. And I should maybe give a shout out to Umtiti and Mingueta because despite being makeshift they didn't look shaky at all. With all that out of the way, let's now talk about the man of the match. There were two players whose performances tonight were levels, as the kids would say. Yes, I am talking about Lionel Messi and Antoine Griezmann. Both were electric, incisive and decisive. It feels unfair and almost impossible to have to pick between the two, but with a gun to my head, I'd probably give it to Griezmann for his brilliant assist on top of his brace. But otherwise, both players had as faultless a game as you will ever see. So yeah, Antoine Griezmann for the BE man of the match. Congratulations. Well, that does it for my match review, ladies and gentlemen. What were your thoughts on the match? Who was your man of the match? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. And thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Forza Boxing.